nice. Pardon my French. Oh, that's dirty. We get lots of wind and some uh, mixed rain, so everything is... I didn't clean my windows because there was a big... Uh... Can you hurry up and come in and go get a buffer? And then after that, yeah, I'm going to have to get you to come in on Saturday. Oh my God. It's not Saturday, it's only Wednesday today, but we got to go to Conklin after this and load some stuff tomorrow morning. Uh, well, first he phones, he's like, you need to go to Conklin. I'm like, sure, yeah, I can do that. Oh, well, wait, actually, before you go to Conklin, can I get you to go Bluffton? I'm like, sure. I guess since the other guys get his COVID shot and he can't come to work, supposedly. What's the point of getting the shot? I got other friends that got the shots. What for? It's like for travel reasons. He's not allowed to travel. So it sounds like it's pretty pointless. You just get jabbed by the government with some special serum they made for uh, probably something else. <laughs> Hope you're all right. But anyways, we're gonna zip on out here and get some uh, big ass, I mean, cut big wide buffer. With the pilots behind me, just barely already got lost once. Well, he didn't get lost. He got, he got all the lights and the traffic. <laughs> so very often I get to outshine someone horsepower wise. This cement truck. So yeah, we're gonna go to Bluffton. We're gonna grab this uh, buffer tank that is super sized. Uh, it lives in our yard number two most of the time. Um, you've probably seen it a time or two. It's blue and it's large. We're like 14.6 wide, I think. It's just like the ones we have out at Rocky, the brown ones, the Titan ones, but this one's just a little bit more bulky. So we'll go out there, we'll get that and bring it back to yard number two. Well, then I need to do a switcheroo and grab, I have the trombone right now, we'll switch out and we'll grab a high boy. It's like we need to double suck these two, uh, they're rig tanks that have, mm, where I took this out to a multi, I took one out to a multi-pad well out at Bonneville there. And it's got all the piping in it because it's used for the thick, thick tar-like stuff. Uh, steam injection wells or whatever they are. So that stuff's extra extra thick and these tanks weigh a little extra. I'm like, well, I don't know if I could do two. I probably could. But I'm like, hey, why risk it? I'll just take a high boy and we'll be fine. So that's what I'm done in get this done grab the high boy and then we'll head her out to sweet black labish and then around the corner to conklin where we'll kumbaya for the night and wake up and we'll go load it uh, for 8 a.m ish we'll see you in a bit stay tuned
Late enough. Camped out here at Conklin. We're still like 80 kilometers away from where we're going. We've got to be there at like uh, 7.30 for a safety meeting, which is the first time. Every other time we come out here, we're just like, meet, great, let's go get it. What's on the menu, Chuck? How about some Chuck? Chili Willy. Would advise not to do this in an enclosed space. Windows are open. You cook in your motorhome, don't you? you? Cook in your tent trailer. Chilly Willy. I've been waiting for this all day. It's gonna be great to go to sleep with. I'll probably have some severe heartburn. Pound a bunch of water so I can get up three times in the middle of the night to go pee. Well, anyways, we'll leave that brewing. We'll be making coffee on that in the morning and uh, we'll truck on and we'll go get loaded. We'll see you guys in the morning.